Hi, I'm Lynn Coolish with CNT Publishing, and this is Artful Fiber. It's 15 different fibers packed into a reusable canvas messenger bag. Now you can use these fibers with fabric, with paper, with you name it. So I'm going to show you everything that's in the bag, and then I'm going to show you some of the things that you can make. So I'm just going to slide everything out of here. So. First off, we have a 16-page instruction booklet that talks about the different fibers, gives you project ideas, and some special techniques. We have Shape Flex. Now this is a woven cotton fusible interfacing. You can use it just like an interfacing or you can do some more interesting things with it. There's a canvas book. You can use this to keep all of your samples in, and you'll see some examples of that. You can use it to make books for friends, all sorts of things. Next up is Spun Bond. Now this is a woven polyester fabric. It has a really interesting texture. It's heat sensitive, so you can get all sorts of interesting heat distressed effects with it. There are two pieces of silk. The first one here is a silk linen blend. It has a really nice texture to it. The next piece is 100% silk and it's very soft and shiny. There is Wonder Web. Now this is a heavyweight fusible web and you'll see some examples of how you can use this. We have bamboo batting. You can use it as batting or as with everything else in the kit, you can do some interesting effects with it. We have two pieces of Lutridor. There's a heavyweight and an ultra lightweight. These are also spun polyesters like the spun bond, and you get really interesting heat distressed effects with them. And what's particularly nice with the ultra light is that it's very translucent. There are two pieces of heavyweight interfacing. One is Timtex, the other is Fast to Fuse. The fast to fuse has fusible on both sides, so you can fuse directly to it. And then we have some more interesting silk fibers. We have silk roving. Now this is unspun silk fiber. It's the intermediary between what comes off of the cocoons before it's spun into thread or yarn. The kit also has silk cocoons and silk rods. Now the silk cocoons are what the silkworms actually spin and the silk rods are a byproduct of the spinning process and these are lots of fun to use and you can make a lot of interesting things. And the runaway silk cocoon there. And the last thing in the kit is Maltex. Now this is a relatively new product. It's mulberry paper on one side with plastic laminated to the back, and you'll see this in some of the samples as well. Okay, and here are just a few of the things that you can make. First off is the canvas bag itself. This one's been painted and embellished, and I didn't mention before, but it's really nice that there's a plastic side on the inside, which makes it really easy for you to see what's inside the bag. It's great for carrying your projects and just for using as a tote bag. Next we have um, a Maltex butterfly. Now this is made of the Maltex and you're seeing it with the shiny side out so you get this really beautiful translucence. And it's been painted and embellished. Then we have a couple of examples of things that haven't been painted at all. So there's a canvas book and on it you'll see the Lutridor, the leaves, the silk rods have been turned into little rosettes. There's a little bit of the silk roving that's just been stitched onto the book. And then there's two silk cocoons that are held down with a button. Next to it's a little starfish. The background is made from the silk linen blend. The starfish is made with uh, the bamboo batting. And then over on the side, there's a little rosette made from the 100% pure silk. And hopefully you can see how shiny that is. We also have a couple examples now of things made with the silk cocoons. The earrings are a cocoon cut in half, and the cocoons are great to paint and make lightweight jewelry out of. They're really fun and comfortable to wear. We have some more painted cocoons in the 
bowl. Those are just painted with a little iridescent paint and they're just fun and sparkly. And then the bowl itself is made from the silk roving. And there's instructions in the book on how to make one yourself. Next up we have a collage that's mounted onto painted Maltex. Now this time you're seeing the, the paper side of it, the mulberry paper. And on top of it are the two different weights of Lutrador, the lighter weight and the heavier weight. There's some spun bond and all the spun bond and the Lutrador have both been uh, heat, hit with a heat gun to give it those in really interesting edges. And then there's a cocoon that's again being held down by a button and there's a little piece of spun bond underneath it. We also have another canvas book that was really used as a sample book and on the front of it there's spun bond and luchador there's the different weights of luchador and then there's two cocoons that have been painted and um, have some little beads that make it look a little bit like a flower and then when you open it up you can see samples of the silk uh, some of it's been painted and some of it's been left plain on the next page is just a hand stitch sampler of all the different fibers uh, that have been painted. Next up is the Wonder Web that's been painted and it's used to entrap and hold down some leaves and some bark. Now on the next page is an example of the bamboo batting that's been embossed and painted. And there's instructions for how to do that in the 16 page instruction booklet. And then there are a couple of samples of the silk roving that's been made into silk paper using fabric medium. And the last thing to show you is another little collage. On the back is a piece of Fast Diffuse that serves as a base. On top of it is painted Luchador and the flowers are also Luchador that have been uh, printed using an inkjet printer. So that I hope gives you a good idea of all the things that you can do with Artful Fiber. You can get it at your local craft store or quilt shop. And if you can't find it there, you can get it directly from CNT Publishing at ctpub.com.